For a while now, I've been wanting to make an explosive liquid metal, and the first thing that I'll need is some potassium. It's kind of dirty and gross looking, because it has reacted with moisture and oxygen. When I cut it though, I can see that there's a bunch of fresh metal on the inside. I'll put this piece into some kerosene, and the next thing that I need is some sodium metal, which is also really soft. However, I need much less of it, and I'll cut off about 0.9 grams. I'll add this to the kerosene and the potassium, and now I can start chopping them up. It took a few minutes of stabbing, but I was eventually able to break them into a bunch of small pieces. At this point, it just looks like a pile of junk, but this should change when I start squishing it. Using this other tool, I can squeeze the pieces together and hopefully force the sodium and potassium to combine. This should make a sodium and potassium alloy, also known as NAC, which is a super reactive liquid. After a while, I was supposed to start seeing some nice liquid metal, but it all still kind of just looked like junk. So, I decided to add a small amount of pure ethanol. This immediately reacted with the dirty oxide layer on the metal and started cleaning it. I then stirred it around and occasionally added more ethanol and eventually, I had a bunch of small and extremely reactive metal balls. They were kind of refusing to combine though, until I added a bunch of ethanol all at once. I then stirred this around for another couple minutes, and I eventually had a perfect ball. I poured off almost all of this dirty yellow kerosene, and I transferred it to a test tube with some fresh kerosene. I also added some more ethanol, and when it stopped reacting like crazy, I pulled out some of it with a syringe. I now have some nice and scary knack, and there's one thing that I just have to try. 